This video is a summary of everything that we have learned from Juan W. Melly's case surrounding the incident of the double homicide. On December 4, 2018, Melly, in an effort to promote his music career, released a documentary on YouTube. Throughout the 21-minute documentary, Melly glorified his use and possession of firearms. Melly stated he had been carrying a gun since he was in fourth grade. This is also consistent with statements obtained during this investigation regarding Melly always in possession of a firearm. At the end of the documentary, the final screen displays these words. Four days later, after the completion of this film, Juan W. Melly and his friends were targets of a drive-by shooting in Miami, Florida. This is significant as it also places Melly at the scene of the crime in the vehicle with Bortland, Sack Chaser, and Juvie. In summary, the following information supports the finding of probable cause, including but not limited to false statements made by Bortland at hospital, false statements made by witnesses and involve others to intentionally mislead this investigation, merely fleeing the area, not cooperating, and refusing to give a statement, and the manager of Melly, Jameson Francois, intentionally misleading investigator, giving false statements, stating he doesn't know where his client is presently located. It was later discovered that Francois was in communication with Melly and even drove him out of the area after the shooting. It later determined by cell phone records that Melly and Sack Chaser were in a location determined to be the actual crime scene which is located from individuals passing by and potential witnesses to murder. Cell phone evidence indicate that Melly dropped off prior to Bortland at, arriving at the hospital. The autopsy report shows wound path from both victim head wounds from a left to right direction. Shell casings inside of the vehicle match the shell casings outside of the vehicle. Evidence shows Sack Chaser and Juvie were shot inside the vehicle and the uh, rounds came from left rear passenger side of the vehicle, subsequently occupied by Melly. The crime scene was intentionally staged to appear the vehicle was involved in a drive-by shooting. Video evidence shows Bortland changed his clothes, but the original short worn by Bortland had blood stain pattern on it. In an interview with the mother and girlfriend of Melly, both stated that after the shooting, Melly called them on FaceTime and stated he was a victim of a drive-by shooting and two of his friends were killed, displacing him at the scene at the time of the incident. The mother of Melly's girlfriend also stated when she witnessed the FaceTime call, it appeared Melly was outside in hiding, waiting to be picked up. This is also consistent with cell phone records of Melly. It should be noted that Melly was in possession of his phone before the incident, during the incident, and after the incident. This was also corroborated by cell phone records obtained in this case.